What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Made Live Vibes Tuesday night live stream. Oh, I see someone posting in the comments that I'm late this time. Shame Hi, Marianne. How you. are you? Hi, Juanito. Hey, Marianne. Hey, Juan, always in the house and on time. Let me just help myself get a little set up here. I'm only late because I was helping Becky. Just, you know, you not guys, true. You guys know that's always the case. So right? not true. How's everybody doing tonight? Hopefully pretty good. Hopefully pretty good. How you doing, Becky? I'm good. Okay. Entertain. Entertain the crowd for a little bit. Do you guys want to see what I bought? It's like a Hydro Fast, but it's a, it, the brand name is Bottle Keeper. And um, you put one of these in there. The bottom really? screws in. The bottom out screws out screws off you put the bottle in there you put this on there let me show you guys see there's the bottle this has a bottle opener on it right there so i saw it on facebook hi melissa and i got so excited that hey, i bought it and this is the first time i'm trying it out to see how cold it keeps it and if I like it, you know, I'm going to sticker it up with Margarita's stickers. Margarita's back stickers. Hi, Rebecca. Stickers. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? How's the audio, guys? Is the audio okay? Are we uh, thumbs Hi, up? Are we loud enough? And Melissa are we and Juan and Marianne. Speaking loud enough. Oh, I, you know, I don't know what goes on with my phone sometimes, but there we go. Let's see if the chat will, will happen up there now. Hmm. So we want to talk first about, uh, you know, Shanghai Disney opening up. We're just going to give a few minutes for everyone to jump onto the stream. It's a light crowd tonight, a light crowd, but the important mm -hmm. ones are here. The important people are here. Don't tell um, everybody else. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't tell anybody else I said that. My hair's place. crazy. So, yes, your hair's crazy. You're it crazy. It is, like, like right here. Ooh, I said. Oh, she's crazy. So, while we're waiting, hi, Jeff, for everybody to jump on. I am so, so bummed out. I already text Marianne. Um, I ordered fabric from this company online and they got the order out really quickly. They shipped it priority mail. We, I shipped it to the PO box. And yesterday it said it was delivered to the, to the um, post office. And then later in the evening, it said <clears throat> that they actually put it in my PO box. So today we went to go pick it up and there was nothing in my PO box, nothing. And I went up to the counter, they went and looked, they looked in the P.O. boxes around it, they, and it couldn't fit in my P.O. box anyways because it was a big box, so they should have had it at the counter for me or in one of the bigger boxes, you know how they leave you a note or they leave you a key, and nothing. So I am waiting for the post office to call me back tomorrow. Hi, Jeff. Um, hi, Lisa. Hugs. Elbow bump. So I'm waiting for the post office to call me tomorrow. I'm, you guys pray, cross your fingers that they find that fabric. Yeah. Um, it was Sarape fabric, uh, the Mexican fabric, uh, a Sarape with a Native American on it, uh, like design on it. And I also had like Sacred Hearts and Coco and it's lost. So I need that fabric. Um, I'm hoping they find it tomorrow. I was going to go on the website and reorder more fabric today, but the site says that they disabled the cart and the wish list because she's behind so yeah bummer bummer i'm out bummer, of luck bummer let's see hi carla hi twinsies hi twinsies hi they carla said, i thought you were streaming thursday we are streaming thursday's combo and cocktails but we are not hi, doing, michael we don't do combo and cocktails on tuesday nights anymore that's our regular live stream night with you guys yes happy and birthday then, to Riker. hey happy birthday Riker! and then um combo and cocktails is on a separate night and this week we're doing it on thursday we only do it about once a month right now uh, maybe we'll step that up as we've gotten some gear in and stuff and we're going to talk about that on combo and cocktails we're going about talk about a lot of techie stuff and kittle tv is going to be our guest on combo and cocktails this thursday so if you want to check it out come see us over there uh combo and cocktails this thursday well you'll see it here midlife vibes and um Thursday, 6 o'clock, 6 p.m., not 7 p.m. We're going a little bit earlier just to see how that Never works. Alien. Oh, my goodness. Michael's talking like this right now. So, but let's get into uh, Shanghai Disney and Shanghai Disney opening up. And 
um, all the stuff that was going on there. So as you guys know, on May 11th, which was yesterday, mm -hmm. Shanghai Disney opened <coughs> up their doors to a limited capacity. And I'm going to show you some pictures of what it looked like um, over there. But And it, it looks like, and it sounds like from the feedback that we're hearing that it went pretty well. So we'll just start off with a little picture there of um, Shanghai Disney right there. Let me see if I can get my... I want to, ooh, I'm trying to do something and it's not working. So, okay, well, you can still see us in the background a little bit. That's okay. So, Shanghai Disney opened up and this is the line to get into the park, I believe. And you can see those markers on the ground. And it looks like over there, people were very well behaved and um, actually kind of followed the rules. I mean, I can see one person that's kind of standing on the marker, but um, for the most part, it looks like they're like, okay, we're told to stand in between these markers, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to stand in between these markers. Um, so that part looked pretty good. They did have a pre-show. Um, now, if you notice something about this pre-show, though. The people aren't standing six feet apart from each other. Well, those are characters performing. But if you notice, there's no crowd. Like, where's the general crowd? So I don't know exactly how Shanghai Disney is set up. Maybe the entry gates. You know how when you walk into... Um, Disneyland and the entry gates are there and you walk through the entry gate and then you have the big mouse in front of the train and everything. So I'm thinking maybe that picture right there is right in front of their entry gate, you know, because then behind them you see you have the train or or the walkway where you go under the bridge into the park. So but I did notice the the band, the Dapper Dans, if that's what they're called there, and the people on the stage are not six feet apart. They're very well, close. Well, no, because they're, yeah, well, because they've all been tested and they're all, they're cast members. Oh, have they been tested? And they're, they're performers. Okay. So um, they're still performing, but they're not allowing people to get too close to them. So here's another picture of that show that's happening. You can see, you know, they have a few key characters that are a little bit different than ours. Obviously, you have the man himself, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and everything, all the, the main five up there. But then they have the bear and the rabbits and stuff, the, the real hit over there these characters. So then you'll see um, when you're walking in, all the cast members are wearing masks. And it is said that if you're a cast member, you have to wear a mask. And if you're a park guest, you have to wear a mask. So park guests were required to wear a mask also as they were in the park. And even, um, you know, it, all dressed up and, and some of them had matching masks and stuff, but um, some of them were even taking pictures with their masks in front of the castles and stuff. So look at how cute Chip and Dale. The oh, egg. the Easter. They still have the Easter set up. That's the Easter egg, the, the, yeah. the Dale Easter egg there in the background. So um, pretty cool. I mean, yeah, no gloves. Yeah, I know. A lot of them aren't wearing gloves. But, you know, the, the main thing is I think that we're going to find everywhere is going to be the masks because they believe that by wearing the mask, if you cough, sneeze, it's going to help uh, keep those particles that you're coughing out, um, keep them close to you. Hi, I just want to say to Betty and the Beast, Pirate Princess Red, Rachel, Orlando Mike. Hi, guys. Welcome. Thank you. And Mike, um, I dropped your, your package off yesterday, so hopefully it should get there soon. Hi, Silver Cyril. Okay, go ahead. I just wanted to make sure I said hi to She's everybody. She always wants to say hi. She's such a social butterfly. No, I just she want to just acknowledge people. She just loves talking to everybody. I just want to acknowledge people. Um, another interesting thing that I saw in the parks was when they had, um, I don't know if they had any major shows going on. It didn't look like it. It looked like they had little small side shows going on. And when they had a small sideshow, and I don't know how this would work at Disneyland, but um, over there, you can see they've had squares for you to stand in, though, and you weren't allowed to stand in the open space. So you can see some people are kind of not, there's a guy back there taking a picture, so it looks like he stepped out of his square to take a picture. And then they have it roped off, so that way people can't just freely go in there. Um, and it's roped off into sections, it looks like. It looks like each row, it looks like there's a row of squares, and then there's a rope, and then there's a row of squares, and then there's a rope. So you're allowed to stand in there, one or two people. Maybe it looks like one of them has three people in it. And there must and, not be a lot of people because the gal right there with the glove and the blue uh -huh. dress was in the other picture too. Yeah, right? Well, <laughs> It's the same people. 
So, so speaking of that, they were only um, able to do uh, 30,000 people, mm -hmm. one third of, or 24,000 people, I think it was, one third of capacity. So um, what that means is, and Shanghai Disney is huge. So we think of Disneyland. Oh, that's bothering me. My hair, my yeah. hair is out of place. Makeup, makeup. No, you had one little hair standing straight <laughs> up and every time and, I look at you, you can see it. And the only person who can see it is you because yes. you're looking at the side I angle. I told myself that and I've been waiting for like, since we got on to not do it, but I just couldn't handle it. Yeah, anymore. so um, they're so much bigger than Disneyland, Shanghai Disney, and a lot of the Disney parks, Walt Disney World, way bigger. So 24,000 people in Shanghai Disney is not a lot of people. It, it, the park is going to look empty. I mean, I can show you. Look at this is where Pirates of the Caribbean is at. <clears throat> look at look at the crowd level. There's almost nobody there. Wow. Uh, the queue line's a picture all the way on the right, and it's just a walk on. So what they saw was a lot of the rides were a walk on the first day, and there was a few rides that had like soaring uh, soaring around the world had um, a 40 minute wait, uh, but. That's not bad. Now, is the amount of people that they allowed in, is that tops what the government is saying that's all you can have that's in there? That's what China has recommended to them. Okay. So they're following that, obviously. Okay, because I was going to say, I wonder if they're thinking, well, let's see how good it goes here. and Can we add a little more people? Or that's what they have to do is that. Yeah, well, they're definitely thinking, um, how are we, you know, how's it going to go with this? And then as they test it and as they see how it works, they can definitely add more people. I, ho I heard Disney sold less than the tickets uh, they were allowed just to keep it safe. Yeah, maybe. Um, it's very possible. But, um, you know, they, they definitely, it was a trial. And I can tell you this much. Disney did not want to mess this up. Like, this is the first Disney park opening up at all uh, right now since this thing has started. And... You do not want to have bad publicity. You do not want to have huge amounts of people not social distancing, not following rules, not following protocols. And and one reason why I think it was so successful too is in a lot of the pictures that I saw is there were so many cast members. Hmm. So <clears throat> you would think as they cut back attendance, they're going to cut back cast members. No. But I think they almost added more cast members to help with the social distancing. Are the cast members counted in the number or that's excluding cast members? I, that is a good question that I do not know. <clears throat> and if you guys see me looking this way, it's because I'm reading comments because I can't see them here and I can't see them from the phone. Yeah, so that's a uh, that's a good question. I, I just don't know the answer to that. And but you know, we saw like one there was a, there's and it's funny because they weren't doing like per se meet and greets where you can go and individually meet and greet characters. But there's one video I saw where people were going to meet uh, Woody and um, Buzz and all them, and they were pretty much surrounded by cast members. And even the cast members had signs that said keep your distance don't like i don't know what oh, it was it cool. it was in chinese so i don't know the exact <laughs> what it said but i'm assuming it said keep your distance or it said something like don't don't approach characters or something and they pretty much surrounded the characters as the characters walked uh -huh. through the land and then when the characters stopped in one place the cast members kind of created a uh, a barricade with space in between them to kind of say okay this is the perimeter take your pictures now and then the, the characters were sitting there and waving and saying hi and stuff but um Hey, Disney Lost Boys and Girls. Nice to see you. It's been a minute. Yeah, how you doing? How you guys doing? So, guys uh, and gals. Yeah, so it was very interesting to see um, that happening. And I think they're going to have to do that here. But like I said, too, Disney, Shanghai Disneyland is, is such a large space where, you know, we meet a lot of our characters in walkways. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you go, when you cross under the bridge and go to Town Square you know, Mickey's on one side, Goofy's on the other side, Donald's there, Don but those are all walkways. Those aren't like designated spots to take pictures. Mm -hmm. They're just in the middle of a walkway and they just kind of say, this is where the this is where we take a picture and there's a line. So there's not a lot of space for them to gather and then for people to, to still social distance and be around them. It'll be interesting to see uh, what they do uh, with that. I'm just kind of curious how... And, if we let 24,000 people into the park, it's definitely going to feel more crowded than what it yeah. looked like there. I agree. Uh, I mean, I just, I, I think that, uh, what? Tony's in the house. Hello, Tony. How you doing? So yeah. it, it's going to be interesting. I mean, I think we, we always have to look at park size, hey, capacities, uh, capacity, um, and so on. But also, there's a, a culture over there. Hi, of, Sarah. Of, hey, Sarah, how you doing? Of 
mask wearing, you know, like before even COVID-19, or they're calling it C-19 now. That's you, buddy. Oh my gosh. Let me, I thought I had my ringer off and I, maybe I did it. Give me one second. So uh, before they even had that, you know, people wore a mask, a lot of masks and stuff over there and, you know, did some of these practices already. So it's very easy for, for them to walk around with their masks on in Disneyland. I think you can get a, a and they, they just seem to comply more mm -hmm. than here in America. Well, because, well, we're wild and crazy and we don't like to comply with rules sometimes. Well, I think because they're more populated, it seems like, than we are. And... Well, China they, is the most populated well, country well, I'm saying in the world. They're more populated and they have more experience with something like this. Yeah. So it's not as shocking as it is to us. Like, you know, so I think that's probably why. Yeah, I mean, it, it's um, definitely. Oh, can I do that? You can do a lot of things. <laughs> so it, it'll be interesting to see what happens here compared to there. I mean, it looked very orderly. Like people. We all know at Disneyland, like you go and you you're trying to you know have some space and stuff. People just jump in, and and then when there's parades and stuff, people last minute just jumping in spots all over the place, like and they don't care what's going on. They want their spot, and that's it. Where it looks like over there, they have the squares on the ground. I'm just trying to think, like, do you think that in Florida or in California, people will actually obey the rules of the square? I'm, I'm smiling because Juan's getting Mean Girls on you. Josh, stop trying to make C-19 happen. It ain't going to happen. It's already happening, and, and I can't stop the uh, the PC movement of C-19 now. That's it. C-19 is happening. It, it's just easier to say, quicker to say, but um, it, is, it is what oh, it is. Oh, look at Half-Blood so, Pirate. So I think that um, here it's going to be difficult to have people follow the rules because people think, I paid my park admission, I get to make up my own rules. I get to do what I want. Are you it doesn't that matter what you say. We are more. We feel more entitled to. Is that what you're saying? Oh yeah, for sure, hundred percent, hundred percent. Well, we Juan, all... tell him to save it for convo and cocktails. Yeah. No, no, I'm talking. I'm, I'm, I'm talking I'm about kidding. Disneyland. I'm talking about how. Oh, he's joking. Hey, DDG. Hey, DDG. Welcome, welcome. So it's just going to be interesting to see. Like, like, do you think that this? would work in Disneyland. Do you th I mean, look how they're all trying their hardest to stay inside those squares. Like, do you think that people here would stay inside those squares? Do you, do you, I mean, I, think I just... Possibly, if there's not a lot of people in the but, park well, and they understand that that's what's required. Well, what I noticed, though, too, is not just the squares, but if you look at the picture, you can see ropes. So I think they're also minimizing the crowd that goes into those areas with ropes. But then the, here's the scary part. Look beyond that. Look way in the back of the picture. They're all standing next to each other. Look at all those people standing next to each other out of the walkway, but not in the squares. And that's what I think is going to start happening at Disneyland is they might be able to control the area that's roped off, but they're not going to be able to control the areas that are not roped off. Now, I, I, I have to I, I take that back a little bit because I have to say when Fantasmic is going, the area that's roped off, everybody's in there. Um, they are not shy about telling people in the walkway, you can't stand here, you need to keep moving, you need to keep moving, keep going, keep going. So it's very possible they'll be able to control that part of it. But it's very interesting to see. So it looks like there was two aspects, not just the squares, but the ropes of containment also. So we'll, hey, we'll see. Hey, kiddo. Hi, Lori. Kiddo TV. Yes. So you get a kiddo. Remember, kiddo's going to be on our Convo and Cocktails this Thursday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Half time. Half saying something on there. So Who? Half Blood Pirate. Oh, meanwhile, people still put their kids on top of trash cans, even if it's not safe. Yeah, especially the trash cans that aren't even and shaky. I know because I've lost a tripod once. That's okay. Imagine kids just falling over, <laughs> cracking heads. Happens. It happens. So it happens when you're a kid. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. It's going to be interesting also to see how many cast members they have in the park at opening and how many cast members they have assigned to crowd control. And I think that's the main thing. I mean, obviously, they're going to have cleaners and people cleaning and sanitizing and stuff like that. But I think Disneyland's main issue is going to be crowd control. So are you still sticking to when you think they're going to open? 
I think. Or do you think yeah, it's going to yeah, speed yeah. up now that things are happening? A little no, I, I definitely don't think that it's going to speed up. Um, I don't think that. Um, what you call it? That it's going to open anytime sooner than I had previously thought. Roddy, Roddy, Roddy's always out of control. Shot, 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 shot. Uh, best case, let's see, Disney Diva Jam. Best case scenario for everyone's safety is to temporarily not have any shows in the U.S. parks to reduce people crowding and not follow social distancing rules. I agree. I, I think that the only way they're going to do is, well, definitely I agree by eliminating big shows. Now, I think they can still have some of the little bands, like in New Orleans Square, how they have the jazz band on stage while people are sitting down and eating. That That's like a mini show to me. So to me, like you could still do that. You could probably still even have the, the I don't know what the pirate band is called, that kind of roams New Orleans Square, because they don't usually get a huge crowd, but they're playing background music. They can probably rope them off, because they're normally not roped off, but they could probably rope them off and have them playing, and people will just mm. walk, continue to walk by and stuff like that. But... What I don't think will happen is I don't think you're going to see a lot of the marching band unless the marching band is going from one spot to another backstage, from one backstage spot to another spot backstage, and that's it. What, what do you think, babe? Um, I think people won't cooperate. Half the population doesn't want to wear masks and was shown on the opening of Shanghai. Yeah, it's, um, you know, we're finding out a lot of people don't want to wear I didn't, masks. I didn't see that. Were people not wanting to wear the mask and they had to get them while they were walking in? Because I noticed a lot of them wearing like the... Well, a lot of people might not have known the rules. And so Disney was handing out masks to people, mm -hmm. I believe. Um, I don't know. I thought a lot of people were wearing masks in Shanghai. Um, but I did could you, be wrong. Did you see or read something elsewhere, PPR? Just because I find it interesting. Oh, and, and you know, we talk about masks and we talk about wearing masks. We went to Target, our local Target, and, and locally, everyone's been doing really good with masks. But when we went to that Target, oh, my God, so many people were not wearing masks. I was like, in, it oh, was actually you, very, it was actually very shocking to me how many people were not wearing masks. And the one lady that wasn't wearing a mask that kept wanting to push up against yeah, you, that and, was and then Target has put markings on the floor to say, you stand here, the next person stands here, the next person course the person who wants to get behind me in line doesn't ignores isn't wearing a face mask ignores the marking and so i have the cart in front of me and i'm standing right behind it she comes right she gets in front of her cart and gets right up on me <clears throat> so what i did when we moved forward is i left my cart and i moved in front of my cart and i kind of pushed it back at her and i just kept my cart as the barrier for her because i can control the distance in front of the person in front of me thank you michael so i was like Pfft. Man, I could not believe I was. I almost, I almost said something, but you know, I'm, I'm not very confrontational, and so I just kind of, I figure out ways to deal with things without causing conflict and problems. And so the easiest way for me to deal with that was just shift myself around my cart, and that created the barrier, and that kept her six feet away. You know, so but I was shocked. Like there was, there was a lady, another lady, just talking to somebody else who's wearing a mask, just not wearing a mask. She's just like blah 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 blah. And I can just imagine all the saliva well, it's, it's, spit it's coming out. It's mainly the ones that aren't wearing the mask. You know, they obviously feel that they don't need to wear a mask, so they're a little more. They're more lax with the social distancing rules. Well, yeah, because... they just don't. Well, it hasn't affected them, and they just don't believe it. And it's just well, but it's to me, I'm a rule follower, and them the rule. Ron says them the rules. Yeah, you yeah. know, so. Those are the rules, and, and that's what I do. And it, it was just very bizarre to see how many... There were some young people, and then there were some older people that just weren't wearing masks. And I was just like, wow. Like, I would think you would feel awkward not wearing a mask, but I think they felt like, look at we're going to show all you guys. Look at you don't need to wear a mask. Look at us. We're not oh. wearing a mask. No, so I just felt like that they have that... The people who don't wear masks, I feel Sometimes, like... Sometimes, yes. I feel like they think like... Look, we're not, not wearing masks. Not we don't everybody. Have to. I'm not saying everybody. I'm just saying that's my impression, my image, my thought process on it. Um, well, what happened with that birthday party this weekend? Oh, yes. Yeah, so I'll tell you that. First, I want to read Michael's uh, comment. Join us for some tech talk with Kid Old TV on Common Cocktails. We'll see you this Thursday at 6 p.m. YouTube.com slash Midlife 5. Thank you so much. That was so nice of you. So, just so you know how important a mask is, and I'm going to tell you a story that happened. A lady. In California, I can't remember what city it was. Well, first, somebody decided to have a large birthday party 
for, I don't know, an adult or a child. I didn't get to, into that part of the details. But they had a gathering at a park. Um, and a bunch of people went there. And one of the relatives was not wearing a mask. Did not believe in wearing masks, I guess. Or maybe thought, I'm safe because I'm with my family that I don't live with. And I'm here. Well, guess what she was doing? She was coughing. Do you know why she was coughing? She later tested positive for COVID-19. So guess what happened? I bet you can guess what happened. Multiple people at the party have now tested positive for COVID-19. Now those people before they've now tested positive. Thank you, Michael. Have a good night and have a good day at work tomorrow as well. Thank you. I know big boss man got to get up early. Um, so all those people before they even had symptoms went out and interacted with the public. So who knows how far the spread from just this one person who refused to wear a mask went. And I'm sure they feel horrible now. And maybe now they'll, they'll wear a mask. Tony but says he just ties his beard around his face. They, I know, right? You just, all you, Hi, do is, Luke, you can just take your beard and just put it up here and just wrap, put a little tie around the, the ears. You're set. You're Nobody totally set. Know the difference. So, so my thought process is, you know, could somebody have gotten it even though she was wearing a mask? It's possible, definitely. But could it have prevented those particles from from traveling or as, or as many particles from traveling? It could have. And it could have prevented for the five or six people that caught it from getting it. It definitely could have. So, you know, it's just a precaution that they, she could have took to help alleviate this from happening. And she didn't take it. I'm just here. You know, you're just here. Thank you, Mom. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to stop No, I didn't have anything oh. to say. <laughs> I didn't have anything to say. Right? Uh, that is so irresponsible of that person at a birthday party. Especially you're at a party. And now all these people, now hopefully now that they have it, they're self-quarantining and they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Been but in the beast. Where are you at? Right here? Yeah. Okay. Guys, our backyard neighbors had a party this past Sunday. Yeah, it's crazy. Like we... We... <laughs> We were talking about having some of the friends over, like, six people total, like, with wow, us. Oh, look at you Jackie. Know? They had a whole party. Uh, we had that uh, Cottonwood ro Rodeo here. Over 2,000 people attended it. It has set our county, Shasta uh, County, back from reopening our town. Right? So that's what happens. And it, it's, you know, the problem is when people are doing these things. Who kicked Michael off? What? Hold on. Am I kicked off? No, I think you. I think maybe he was saying bye to somebody, or were you saying bye? Oh, I thought I said bye to Orlando Mike. Oh, it was Orlando Mike, not Michael. Orlando Pearl. Mike. Oh, you said Michael, so I just assumed you were talking about Michael, and so you're talking about Orlando Mike. No, Sorry, I'm Michael. talking about Orlando Mike, not well, this one. Do I need to leave? You're, Michael, I want you to go ahead and self time yourself out <laughs> for five minutes. No, wrong. You're Mike. on self. You're on self quarantine for the next five minutes. No, I'm just kidding. There's don't, there's don't. Orlando Mike, and then there's you. I was saying bye to the Orlando Mike. Jesse Sarah says, "Don't leave. Don't leave." Yeah, right, Jeff. Those crazy cowboys. I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So um, anywho, I get all the mics mixed up. Shanghai Disney. So was it a thumbs up, thumbs down? Was it considered I, a success? I or? think it was considered a success by far. Okay. Like, I'm sure they had a few incidences inside the park. I'm sure they had that even maybe going in. But overall, I heard it was very successful. Uh, was it Bob Chapek said uh, that it was, a, I believe he said it was very successful. And they're looking at it, and they can. The good thing about no, it they is, can, they can look at it and see what went well and what didn't, what worked, what didn't. Yeah. What do they have to enforce more? Yeah, so they can definitely tweak where they saw spots where the plan broke down and didn't work. So, which is why you have to have these type of openings. We could call them soft openings for rides and stuff, where they don't announce that a new ride is open, but that way people can who are just there can try it without causing a whole bunch of people to go there. So that you can see what works, what doesn't work. Ooh, it's so. cold. Okay, Ooh. for those of you that weren't here at the beginning, I bought this. It's called, it's made by Bottle Keeper. Um, they're normally $29.99, but I bought a retired color, which is white. So it was $20. You unscrew this and then you stick your bottle in there and then you put the cap on. But this has a bottle opener so look at your bottle is in here 
Now, I haven't drank it yet because I want to see how cold it stays by the end of this stream. But it's pretty cool. And it has that bottle opener. If I like it, I'm going to put some margarita stickers on it. And they said if I send in a video testimonial, they will send me another one for free. So we're going to test it out. Yeah, so I like that. In fact, if I felt it, it felt cold. Yeah, I know. All right, thanks, Michael. I know. Nice cup. Thank you for the cup, by the way, Michael. I do appreciate it. Sarah caught it. The horse, as Kiddo would say. Horse. He probably fell asleep on his pain meds. No, I'm just kidding. Poor Kiddo. Leave him alone. Yeah, poor Kiddo. That is true. I'm, I'm glad he's doing better, though. So it's going to be interesting to see. Um, but I think that was a positive note for Disney. And I think that we will see um, them take what worked into the parks over here and around the world and continue to open up. We know Disney Springs is opening up May 20th. We've already seen that the uh, custodial staffs for Disney Springs has been rehired or not rehired, brought back to work. So they're in preparation for it. Another thing that news came out was that um, Universal Orlando's uh, City Walk, their City Walk is opening up on May 14th. For on uh, Thursday, that's this Thursday, from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Now, it's a limited opening. Don't get me wrong. They're going to have just a few restaurants like Bubba Gump Shrimp and Voodoo Donuts and stuff like that opening up. But um, And there'll be limited capacity, limited parking, limited seating at the restaurants, uh, limited amount of people who are allowed to go into the City Walk area. But they have said that everyone will be required to wear face masks when they go in. And also, they are going to be taking the guests temperature every guest is going to have their temperature taken when they go into the city walk all the karens are going to be mad well no but so one thing one thing i learned um i saw a video of how they're taking guest temperatures and no, I, all the karens I, are going to be mad about the mask the ones that don't oh yeah wear well, it. well then they don't get to go then they just and i hope that and you know they're just going to say you don't wear a mask you can't come in and that's it the problem is once the people get in how do you reg are they going to regulate them and say hey you can't take off your mask you have to wear it and if somebody refuses will they escort them out you know hopefully they do i hope i really want businesses to be strict when it comes to that because it's important that everyone's doing that and following the rules you know we should we shouldn't be just be breaking rules but so what i saw really quick about the temperature taking is it's not like somebody's going to stand there with a thermometer thing and shoot your forehead and take your temperature they have these scanners that they put one person, and as the crowd walks through a walkway, it basically puts temperatures on everybody's head. So, so it just they're using them. the stuff from the Tron, right? Instead, I'm just kidding. I was just throwing you off. I was like, <laughs> what? The technology from the yes, Tron, right? Exactly. So, <laughs> so I want to say thank you to everybody before Josh continues, because I might not ever get another word in. I want to say thank you to everybody wow. who commented on Jessica's painting. Um, we really appreciate it. Um, she did a really awesome job painting. Don't look at Josh's sloppy wire job. Because that's usually not on camera. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. But thank you to everybody who um, commented. Um, she did an awesome job. Yes, she did. She did a super great job. I mean, that was like super, super awesome job. Yeah. That's from one of our Dapper Days pictures. Yeah, so we took a picture at Disneyland or DCA. That's actually in Disney California Adventure. Right and by the pier. She took that picture and then she made, she painted it. She didn't it. take the she picture. Didn't, she didn't, uh, yeah, she didn't take the picture and she didn't stencil it or anything like that. She actually recreated that picture from scratch onto this canvas and it is amazing. I mean, the details in it are just, I mean, it's so lifelike. Like she captured our faces, like, like it, unbelievable. You can see all the creases, you can see everything, but she gave it to us as our, um, she did stencil. Oh, she, she did stencil, she sketched, okay. She sketched it. I was like, dang, you're super good. No, she sketched it and then painted. How she sketched it? The picture was only this big and that thing's like this big. She drew it. Sketch. How'd she sketch it? Someone's gonna have to tell me. Sketches I, is a loose drawing. Oh, a loose drawing. Yes. Okay, well, I, I mean... You could tell she did Well, yeah, of course, I, I think you would do that. I mean, I don't think she just took the paints and went blah, 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 blah. I mean, I thought she drew it on there, and then she painted inside what she drew. She stenciled... Yeah, she sketched it. Okay, yeah, that's, well, that's what I meant. I'm sorry if I misrepresented what I meant. I'm sorry, I, did, I didn't I did. No, you didn't. Multiple, multiple, multiplied... 
papers. Papers. I don't even Multiple know what that papers. means. So we'll just go with that. She did whatever she does to Tracing do it. Tracing paper. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, it looks beautiful. It looks great. <laughs> I tried to make you better than you were, Jessica, but okay. It's okay. She just did it <laughs> free hand like Bob Ross. No, I'm just, but it didn't even matter. Like, everything is just like so, it's freaking crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Totally nuts. Yeah. So, I have it kind of high up right now because uh, Jessica was telling me that it takes months for that to really dry. Uh, she said maybe in a couple of weeks it might be dry enough to like break down, but I'm so worried about Becky's big head just like slapping into it. So, I have it kind of higher. And you know higher. why? Because he sticks baby in the corner. He puts me in this little tiny corner where I can't move. That's no, 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 no. You, I have an ugly chair. I had to put covers over my chair because I think I have one that was found on the side of the road. Oh, my goodness. So That's, what, that's the way he treats yeah. me. Here. So I think that we'll see um, Disney World opening up. In July, that's my prediction anyway. I mean, it might be June, but I think July. I don't think Disneyland's going to open up for a, for a while. You're, I'm thinking October, you know, at the earliest. I mean, we just got told we are in L.A. County. We are at safe at home orders for another three months. And it doesn't mean the exact same safe at home orders. It means there will be some loosened restrictions, but... Um, they'll still be pretty tight, you know. See, they said nobody puts baby in the corner. And then no, Rebecca, I know. Nobody and puts... Rebecca says, I noticed that. See? <laughs> well, we're, in, we're at a limited space. We are. We really are in a limited space. The light right here, right there, is my nightstand, okay? So we're a very limited space, and we're doing the best we can with what we have. We're gonna I'm trying get... to make it happen, Here's babe. Here's the deal. We have a... I got you your own microphone. We have Look a it. little... I gave her her own microphone. We have, a microphone. We actually have a little student desk, and um, there's a file right where I sit. There's a file with that desk, so I can't put my feet out. So we're actually looking at other desks, larger desks, wider and longer, um, that doesn't have a file cabinet underneath it. So we will be doing some upgrading and some purchasing for the home office studio slash bedroom. So time out with Michael and Tony says we're possibly going away from our six foot roll. Really? Already over there? I would say just keep practicing six feet. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I know you guys are like social distancing on the norm anyway because you don't have anybody who lives in the state, but still. Tony I would hasn't be like, realized that you are not a fitness guy at all. So, Josh, I'm going to issue a fitness challenge here in a week or so to some friends. You want in? Now, I will say this. I will say this. Once I start work, it's going to be difficult for me to continue with that. But I'm intrigued. I'm definitely intrigued. I might want you in. You are the least. I know, but this might be physical, the push. athletic person. <laughs> I'm not saying that in a, I'm not saying that in a mean, disrespectful way. He's just not. I, he golfs. I and he does YouTube. I, that, I, I he lettered he lettered in golf. And it's a very physical sport. I know, but you don't do burpees and. No, stuff. no. I mean, I have to work my way up to that stuff. That's obviously so. Yes. Uh, let me know the details. I, I'm I'm intrigued because I was just telling her my belly's growing. And I need to work on that because my belly is just way too much. I'm 30 pounds from 100 pounds down, brother. Oh, man. That's awesome. See, I, I think if I can lose about 20, 25 pounds, I'm good. I'm solid. You know, and in the process, get a little muscle in there, so it's okay. As he eats 10 donuts. I haven't eaten 10 donuts in a while. <laughs> I haven't eaten 10 donuts in a while. Uh, Disney Lost Boys and Girls are saying, we are thinking the same thing. Disneyland could be opening in the fall, which means we'll be missing out on the park's 65th anniversary. Yeah, definitely could Maybe be. Maybe not. They have those anniversaries all year long. Who needs a bed, Josh? Make a stream room. Yeah, right? <laughs> I don't need a place to sleep. No, I so do. So we've actually been updating our, our bedroom. We got new bedding. I got a new piece of wall Rebecca's art. Start, Rebecca's just trying to start a fight. You seem to have room, Josh. He d right? Well, the problem is wait, wait, I'm on the open side of it. No, but, and then when we sat here, he's like, move, move. And he's pushing me in the corner as he has all the leg room. Look at his king chair. If I took the cover off of this chair, you guys you guys would probably donate a chair to me, I swear. But I'm going to buy a chair, so don't do that. See, Tony's a, a software engineer, so, you know, he sits on his behind all day long. And he's still staying fit, so I can do it, too. 
Okay. She has no faith in me. <laughs> I'm golfing tomorrow. League starts tomorrow. Oh yeah, you're a big, big, big top promotion now. Now you just play golf all the time, huh? That's that's my work. It's a it's a work meeting on hey, the golf course, right? Hey Gonzo, how are you? Hey Gonzo, what's going on? Yeah, send me the details. Send me the details. I should challenge you at whatever he challenges. And Ronnie you tells do. me to do it. Well, if he challenges me, I'm gonna challenge you to the same thing. <laughs> Once it stop the exercise, talk fat. Tossy fat voice. Yeah, Juan, Juan, Juan's putting Juan on the... Juan wants to keep going to eat... Uh, Juan's putting on the pounds, so he's like, no, oh, somebody has to put on the pounds with me. He That's wants it. to continue to eat uh, Nuts Berry Farm fried chicken. Yeah, oh, speaking of... Good segue, good segue. Look, at you're getting good at this. You're he getting, thinks I'm just here for the looks. You're getting good at this. We went this last weekend with Juan to eat while social distancing. Yes. While eating, to went to Nuts Berry Farm and got their fried chicken to go and a boysenberry pie and the vlog the video for that is coming out probably tomorrow it's tomorrow or thursday okay, i think we've been i'm on trying 40 to minutes i'm gonna try this I'm, I'm trying to get it out tomorrow i i pretty much oh ooh, that's it's, cold, it's cold. Ooh, and that was just from the bottle it's just from the bottle wow that's good so we we're um we got that but if you see behind me all of this knott's berry farm stuff I went a little crazy in the marketplace. So they had um, where you can go in and get the chicken. They had where you can go in and get the pies. And then they had the marketplace open where you can buy all the boysenberry stuff. So I wanted to show you guys all the boysenberry stuff. Why don't you go and tell them how that worked? So it's cold, actually. I put this bottle in here um, before we, maybe five, ten minutes before we came on the stream. Do you want to take a drink and see if it's cold? No, I believe you. No, t no I'm not going to do that. You stick me in the corner and you want me to help you drink as well. Cold? And and it wasn't that cold because you had just bought yeah. them. So. No, it's fine. And it, this doesn't wiggle around. I was afraid it would wiggle and I was shocked weird. at how cold the bottle is, the outside bottle is. The inside's decent, right? Yeah, definitely. And then you can act like, I don't have any beverages and your bottle's hiding inside of a bottle. You know what I smell though? The only thing is, is if you see in here, there's a little rubber thing, I think, to keep to seal it tight, the bottle. To, to seal, seal the, the bottle. bottle. But I smell that when I drink. Oh, you smell the rubber, the lid. Which I I don't know if I like Ooh, that. We got blurry for a minute. I don't know why. But we are going to, oh, I need to, let me catch up on comments real quick, and then we're going to go ahead and talk wait, about wait, 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 uh, wait. not very far. Their breasts were so good, the fried chicken breasts. And Juan said, when we started, Juan said, I do not like fried chicken breasts. And when he ate it, he was like, this is the best breast on, I ever sir. had. So wait, sir, I don't want to drop my bottle, so hold on. So this comes off. So see, this screws off, and you can see, feel it, it's insulated. Yeah. You can feel the insulation. And the bottom has the insulation as well. So what you do is you put you put your bottle in there, and then you twist it close. And then this is the top, which I like because you can close it, and it does have a rubber stopper on there. But look, it comes with the bottle opener. So you yeah. just go click. And I used a bottle opener, and it worked really well. And then you can just close it up, and it keeps it cold. So there were they were twenty nine ninety nine on the website. It's called the website is bought or the make the manufacturers are Bottle Keeper, and this was they're twenty nine ninety nine. They have different sizes. Like this one I got because it fits my ciders. Um, they also have them for beer cans. Um, so they're normally twenty nine ninety nine, but I didn't want to spend that much because I didn't know how well it was going to work. So they had two, three retired colors. They had white, a lime green, and like a peach color uh, for $20. So I went ahead and got the $20. It shipped very quickly. Um, I've had it for about a week or two, sitting here wanting to try it out. So I think I'm going to like it. So I think I will go ahead and put some margaritas bag stickers on it because I think I'm going to like it. And they sent me an email and said if I do a video testimonial, that they will send me another one for free. So basically 15 bucks a bottle then. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds I good. Know. Um, Disney Lost Boys and Girls says, any thoughts on Ghost Town Alive and the 100th anniversary celebration being postponed to next year 
And what do you think will be the fate of Not Scary Farm this year? Any thoughts? I don't have any thoughts because there's nothing really you can do with everything being postponed. It's just what it is. Well, I have thoughts that that they're... I think Knott's did, and even Cedar Fair over in Ohio, did a great thing by postponing their 100-year anniversary because they want to make sure it's a big celebration, and that's going to be hard to do this year. So by postponing until next year, hopefully we'll be kind of out of a lot of this stuff, and they'll be able to really have that celebration. So sad. Not but so the problem, though, is a lot of people are... I, the only thing that Knott's Berry Farm has going for them is that they're in Orange County, not L.A. County. So... Um, you don't have to control I'm, the mouse all the time. <laughs> so Orange County is definitely... Um, go ahead and click on that, please. Thanks. Um, so Orange County is definitely looser in its restrictions than L.A. County. Yes. Now, it's still in California as a whole, but as California loosens up, L.A. will still um, kind of be a little strict, I guess you could say. So it's kind of nice to see that, uh, well, not nice to see. They're in Orange County, so they might, Knott's Berry Farm might open up before Disneyland. It's very possible. If Josh seems distracted and you're wondering is why. It, Knott's is OC. It's Buena Park. Buena Park is Orange County. It's because I'm touching the mouse and it's driving him nuts. Well, did you did you start reading the comments down from the last comment that I had clicked? You just, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to let her go, go to the comments where we left off. And so we can start clicking on him and show it. No, you're way... You have no idea where you're at right I now, do. do you? This is where we're at. Disney Lost Boys and Girls. Okay. And then Sarah so, said, how does okay. it get in there? Which we already talked about. Okay. And then Juan said, Michael, why, I thought you were leaving. So, and then look at Sarah says, just face the wall, Becky. Okay. There right? you go. Yes. Don't touch the mouse, Becky. You just sit there and smile, Becky. You just sit here and look pretty. That's all you need to do. Let me do all the hard work. You do the easy stuff. Don't worry about uh, it. Sarah thinks it's cool. Juan says, Margarita's back. That bottle's Becky Boo. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna. I have a lot of stickers too. I should have showed you. I got her two of her new packs, and I got. Um, I haven't got my recent order, which has all the big ones, stickers. I should say. Juan, did you say Michael is leaving? By Michael, stop rushing me. You do what you want. I'm part. Am I part of the channel? Yeah, of course. Look at him. You're red too. Well, I'm having a few beers. Jeff, they have been trying to kick me out all night. <laughs> have a good it, night, Michael. Sweet it, dreams. So the Facebook people can see it. What? It, Andas molestando. I know. I'm just have trying. a good night, <laughs> Michael. Sweet dreams, friend. He acts like when he sits in the captain's seat, like if he clicks every single comment. Never. Fried dreams. Fried dreams. Juan. Hey now, no, I don't says want to click on all these comments. Oh yes, you did. <laughs> the bottle's a big upgrade from the old brown paper bag, right? I was thinking maybe the policias won't know what's in here. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, also, I got my uh, pass fix, and they will extend my expiration date. You know, Josh hasn't called them yet, so we don't know what's going on with that. Um, Becky, are you still filling orders for your next mask? Yes, and Jackie. I'm so upset. Um, I have some women's masks that I'm going to put out, some dots and some roses and stuff like that. But um, the post office lost my fabric order that had a, like five or six yards of fabric, sarape print, um, sacred hearts, just some really cool fabric. They, claim, they have it all scanned like they put it in my P.O. box. The box was too big for my P.O. box, so it wasn't in there. They didn't leave me a key. They didn't leave me a card to pick it up behind the counter. They have lost my order. They're going to look for it and call me back tomorrow. So I'm out of luck, I think. Um, Knott's is not in OC, says Half Blood Pirate. Incorrect. And uh, links above. Oh. It's Joe telling you just face the wall, right? I'm just scratching up. Josh cannot handle. I'm literally just holding this mouth because it's driving him. You can still talk. No, I'm, I'm listening to you. You're doing fine. Lauren Campbell's in the house and she said that she saw us once at Disneyland and was scared to say hi. Oh, okay, this is on. what we always tell everybody. Don't be afraid to say hi. Just come up and say hi. We, yeah. We love meeting everybody. Yeah, we love everybody. We might everybody. not be able to hang out with you all day or anything like that, but we definitely love meeting everybody, saying hi, taking pictures. We love that stuff. 
You know me, I love my picture taken. I know, Disney Diva Gem. I am so hoping they find my fabric because it was fabric that you just can't find anywhere right now. And I happened to be able to get a yard of each one. And I was so stoked. I seen it get scanned into the to the post office and I was like waiting and waiting. Finally, it said that it got into the post appeal box. I went today and it wasn't there. Um, I went online to try to reorder from the person, but they shut down the at They disabled the add to card and the um, wish list because the girls just backed up with too many orders. So fingers crossed in prayers, whichever you do, pixie dust, whatever your magic is, um, loosen that on me. So that way I can get that fabric tomorrow. I didn't get crazy with the people at the post office either. I was really nice because the two I, ladies. I thought for sure you were going to No, get the crazy two ladies that. that were helping me, the first one that helped me, and then the second one, they're super nice to me all the time. Every time I go in there, they're just extremely nice. So it's not their fault. They didn't, they weren't the ones distributing it. So let's Ronnie see. says he can't talk without the mouse in his hand. This is true. If I don't have the, I'm, I'm, I'm in my position. I have the mouse in my hand. I don't think it I puts did, me in my PPR. Spot. I'll have to look. Okay, she's asking if I saw her mask post on Instagram. I don't. I don't think I did. I'm gonna have to go look. You heard the fashion district is open. Um, I saw parts of it open. But Sarah, I, think I a wanna lot of it go. Wasn't. No, I heard that it is open, and I wanna go because there's one place that I really love the fabric there. But I'm nervous to go down there. But I have an N95 mask, so I should be okay, right? With an N95 mask. Yeah, so you get. I haven't by... used it. I don't okay. know. I don't know. It's uh, it's very possible. I mean, I think you being somebody who's um, Sarah, we can go together. Has asthma and stuff. Has to be careful about how many places you go to. Yeah, I don't go. I'll just go to one place. It's huge. Especially they have there. really cool stuff. Okay, Sarah. If we go, fabric is like <laughs> TP nowadays. Hope you get. I know, and it has the you know the Mexican serape. I ordered Mexican serape, not not the actual serape, but the print. There was another Mex a serape that had a little bit of a native print in it. I ordered cocoa, and I ordered um, the sacred hearts, which are the you know the hearts with the flames on them. I really hope I get it. So now we're gonna go and move on to, to Knott's Berry Farm. Knott's Berry Farm. Where's my sarsaparilla? The... We're gonna share this one. Okay. Because I know you have that. I have that, and I, I you might not like it. Oh, wait, you want to use it. my bottle opener? No. No, no, no. It's a twist off. Mm. It's a twist off. It twists right off. So I, so when we went, the marketplace was open, like I was saying, and I went um, a little crazy in the marketplace. Um, I think I spent like mm. 60 or $70 on, on just not Ooh, very far boys good. and berry stuff. So Becky's going to have the first taste obviously i would let her have the first taste over me because i'm such a gentleman <laughs> it's good because you can taste like so, the vanilla and the so sarsaparilla is like a um it's like a cream, cream soda. soda like a root beer cream soda not root beer, not root beer cream, cream soda i always put thai and cream soda with root beer for some reason it's really but, good you can taste a cream soda and just like a hint of the boysenberry it's not a lot of boysenberry like the juice Hi, Richard. Como estas? Oh, that is good. Yeah, so it's more... It's oh, more... That is good. I'm a big fan of cream soda. I love, I love cream, cream soda. soda. I love cream Ooh. soda. Cream soda, but... So this is... It's more cream soda with the hint of boysenberry, right? Do they, they sell this at the saloon? Yes. And I just never got it? You... Okay, I won't bring it up here. What's that? One day I was bugging and bugging a couple years ago that I wanted a sarsaparilla. I wanted a sarsaparilla. And you were being Josh about the sarsaparilla. I was being Josh. I was being Josh. I'm sure. Uh, Lisa's going to need one of those sacred heart masks uh, to match her tattoo. Okay, if I get the fabric. And cream soda, rocks. Yeah. Oh, that is. That is good. That is. That is. Um. It's good. Do it like like wine. It's good, right? I don't do that with my wine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't do that, with my wine. <laughs> that is wow. It's not 
too sweet. I don't think, and I don't think they overdo the boysenberry. It's no. just like a hint of boysenberry. You know, berry. the problem is when I go to Nas Berry Farm, I get free berry punch. So it's hard for me to then cough up money to go and get a boysenberry sarsaparilla, but they need to sell she this. She says, buy one for me and Mario. We have an extra one. Uh, uh, Only if you guys taste it on camera. No, no, they gotta, they gotta make me some, some, some dinner first. They want, uh, you buy me some. Hey, you know what? You and Mario can drive down there in your car and you can get one from the store. It's uh, it's open to the public. Uh, Sarsaparilla is a soft drink originally made from the plants like the Smilax or Nata, but now sometimes made with artificial. artificial. I'm sure it's made with artificial flavors. I mean, ooh, it's giving me a little bit of, you know what I'm saying? Okay, just, Jessica. Oh, oh, Jessica made content. She's killing me. She's killing me. Oh, she's totally killing me. My son and I like uh, freestyle machines because they have cream soda, Fanta. I don't know if I've tried cream soda, Fanta, but I might have to. And they have peach, strawberry, grape, orange. Are you going to oh. show them what we got? Yes. I know. I was just trying to see if, who's going to finish this off. I'll take another drink. And you take another drink? Or you want to drink before me? No, go ahead. You sure? Yeah, I can't drink a little. Okay. It does have artificial flavors. Um, not a whole lot mm. of ingredients on there, but it's really good. Mm, mm. So first, because I love my berry punch with my unlimited drinking over at the um, Knott's Berry Farm, we went ahead and got ourselves the Knott's Berry Farm Concentrate Boysenberry Punch juice so we can make multiple bottles. I didn't even see how many bottles you can Michael, make. Michael, have you guys opened your boysenberry juice and tried it yet that's what i want to know we sent some to michael and carrie have, along you, try, with, have you tried it yet michael? along with the boysenberry jam and some boysenberry yeah. lollipops i'm just curious if the concentrate is as good as the ones in the park well if you make it the same way oh we will need to get more wait so that means oh we loved that oh he okay. loved it so yes oh that stuff is bomb Yes, it is bomb. It is very bomb. Diggity bomb, 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 bomb. Uh, babe, babe, How does it me, feel? Please. How does it feel? Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know. How does it feel? Um, Erin. And then I got myself, because I love me a boysenberry coffee, so at the Starbucks... You thing, didn't tell me you got that? It's sitting right there. You can see it. Look, I'm not hiding it from you. You, you just said barbecue. Oh, sorry. Well... Unfortunately, I got this, and then after I got it, I realized how much it was. And I was I'll like, say how much do you think this little bag of 22. coffee is? Well, that's too much. That's too much money. I was going to say 14 and 19, but then I said 22. You just wanted to go to the extreme, huh? Well, because you look like it was like $10,000. It is. It's sixteen ninety nine okay. for this little tiny bag of coffee. I was like, oh, crap. But I already had it at the counter, and I was scanning it in front of the guy, and I was like, I can't put it back now. I'm buying it. I don't want to look like I'm a cheapskate, even though I am. So, but inside Knott's Berry Farm, they have a Starbucks, and you can Ooh. get boysenberry coffee there, boysenberry frappuccino, boysenberry I latte. Get the so I good. get the boysenberry lattes. So they are so delicious. Um, me and Mario accidentally bought chips for $4 for, for a snack. For a snack size. <laughs> you know, she was You're not going to let them that. have the other one? Let them have the other one. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Um, okay. So yes, He doesn't let me do nothing. And then I I remember Becky was telling me how much she wanted salad and she wants salad. So I thought, I'm going to get her a boysenberry vinaigrette, a little dressing. And it, it, it looks, this would be really good Ooh, with, with, like a, cheese. with like a walnut. And salad feta with feta cheese. Oh, man. Some, my mouth's starting to water right now. You guys, my mouth's those, starting to water. A little bit of purple onions. And mm. then, of course, now there's a meat shortage. They, I'm going to have to go find some meat. They do still have Build-A-Bear, Ronnie, at the... Goss Berry Farm has the Build-A-Bear now. Um, boysenberry barbecue sauce. So I like my barbecue sauce... Um, Sweet. I like my barbecue sauce to have a little sweetness to it. I've been putting brown sugar with my rubs. I think you put a little bit too much brown sugar last time. On the tri-tips, I put a little too much? Okay. Just a tiny bit. It was sweet. I, I liked was, it. I liked like it a sweet, lot. Sweet. Yeah, I liked it. But I'll, I'll take that into consideration. Maybe just, just a tad bit less. Just a tad bit less. Okay. Yeah. Um, you should do a video ranking all of the products. 
Thank well, you, Jessica. After we try them all, right? We have to try them all first. And then, because in this household, you know we love the hot stuff. So I got myself a boysenberry <gasps> hot sauce. You didn't tell me you got that either. Well, because here's, 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 here's what happened. I you know why? Because he doesn't like me to spend money, and so he didn't want to tell me, and then he came out with all no, this no. stuff. No, no. It actually had nothing to do with that. What it had to do with is I've kept this stuff wrapped. I wrapped it all up, and I kept it in a bag until today because I knew that if I showed this stuff prior to now, guess what? We wouldn't have it to show you. We wouldn't. It would be gone. So I was like, I'm going to keep it hidden. I said, what did you buy? Oh, two boysenberry... Um, a boysenberry concentrate yeah. and a barbecue sauce and a dressing. So, so the good news is that um, you get your AP discount. So you get yeah, your, your Sarah, season pass discount. Sarah has it right. What? What happened was... <laughs> what happened was... I went into Target <laughs> and I went to buy ice cream. So, and I couldn't help it. I bought... A macrame for the back of the bed that's yeah. gonna hang on the wall for yeah. so, sixty two dollars. So I messed up on um, one thing. I was we were shooting a vlog when we were there, obviously, but I forgot to video. So when I was in the marketplace, I was getting my stuff, and there was a small space, and I didn't want to. And they're only letting a certain amount of people in, so I really wanted to get in, buy everything, look around, get everything, and then leave. But when I'm walking back to the car, Juan's in the back of his car, sitting down in a chair with an umbrella over his head. Becky's got my trunk open, sitting down in a chair, an umbrella, relaxing. And here I come, and I can't even, I have to double carry, you both my hands to carry the bag because it's heavy. And she's like, look at me like, like I just went crazy over there. And she didn't even realize how crazy I went. So it was about, and I got a discount because I get, you get your season pass discount there. Yeah. So it was, it was under 70, but over 60. I don't remember the exact amount, but it was in the 60s. So Richard, the painting, he hadn't seen it. Oh, Richard hadn't seen the painting. Hey, Richard, there's the... Let's if I can get it. My daughter painted it. There's the painting. Yeah. I like that. I'm so proud, a proud, a proud papa, a proud papa. So uh, someone disagreed with you. Where? Jessica disagrees with you. Scroll what? up. Right there. I disagree with mom. I don't know what you're disagreeing with her about, but you disagree with her. Uh, cranberries and almond. Wouldn't be the first time, Jessica. Right? So, it's not often that I am willing to splurge on stuff like this. I usually don't, right? You splurge on sweet stuff, yeah. But this, not you would... this much. Not like this stuff. I I, I I've never, ever bought this. Like this. Like... I would normally see that coffee and see sixteen ninety nine and be like, "Where's your throne?" But drugs. you didn't know it was sixteen ninety nine, and you just you were shy. And then I was like, "I can't, I can't back out." Oh, now. the brown sugar! I like the brown sugar, Jessica. I oh, just thought okay. there was a tad yeah. bit too much the next day for leftovers. I thought it was so good. Like when you I made the really, omelet, it yeah. was good, but then I could taste the sugar in the omelet. Well, yeah. Well, well, I didn't put. Oh, did I put that meat in the omelet? I did. Yeah. Well, it really wasn't meant for that. I was just trying to use the leftovers. But it was really, um, I like a sweet rub. I've, I've come to know that I like a sweet rub on my meat. So <laughs> That did not sound right at all. <laughs> we'll just move on. So Move on. <laughs> well, folks. Um, yeah. Apparently, he Apparently. likes a sweet rub on his meat. Okay. <laughs> Carrie doesn't get uh, a say. Wow. Whoa. I just buy what I want. Wow. I just don't say what I buy and I just buy it. I'm going to tell Carrie to rewatch this. I'm going to post these comments up, Michael. There you go, Carrie. That's just I for you. I usually don't care what Josh buys. He just never likes to buy things. Oh, my I, I don't think I like the smell of this rubber thing. That's my one thing. I'm going to... Let bleach sit in there? Do you think it'll take that smell? I, I have done. Anybody know how to take away the smell of a rubber band? That's the oh. one thing I don't like. Well, thank you. This side right here looks so much better, I think, than this side right here. This side still has got that little spot right there. But but it's starting to fill in. And I'm thinking, I, I'm waiting for this part. And, and Tony, maybe you can guide me through this a little bit, Tony. But this part's starting to grow in different directions. 
but it's still too short to really control it. So I guess it's just a period where I think I just have to wait for it to get longer before I can really start to control Michael's it. Michael's starting to fight. Or, or do you think, uh, Tony, should I start using beard oils? Is that a, like a recommendation maybe? Or do I just keep well, no. combing it? All, everybody says that you got to, you should comb it with that palm comb that well, you I have. do comb it with the palm comb. But you should put some type of beard oil just to keep it from being all rolly because you're in a you're in a weird stage. Do they sell stage. beard oil at Walmart or Target? You have one. Yeah, I'll get you a good no, beard oil. No, I don't oil. have I'll get you a good beard oil online. But if you watch. Um, Tony just says, just let it grow. Just let it grow. But beard oil, I like it. He wants to shave it and I'm kind of mad about that. I think he should just let it grow. That's what I say. I like Carrie it. Carrie gets what she gets and doesn't throw a fit. Bit or bit well, or yeah, but she's the woman in the relationship, and uh, he's I, not saying it no in a nice said. way, weirdo. No more said. He's not saying, "Oh, she gets what she gets." He's saying, "No, I know, I know, I know what he's saying." It, but I'm saying, I just buy stuff and I just don't tell him, and then yeah. it comes and I say, "I work too, foo." I work too, foo. Yeah, whatever, that's, foo. That's what <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! But so, beard oil will help. It's like me. I have to put stuff in my hair. Otherwise, my hair is crazy. You have to put stuff in your beard or it's going to be crazy. I'll thank you so much, uh, PPR, putting up all those social media links. Thank you, PPR. I appreciate it so much. Um, you have that creamsicle one. No, I don't. What happened to I you? had uh, replay the me come for Lisa. She is rolling on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> if Marianne heard that, she'd be rolling as she well. She probably did. And she's just like sitting back there going, oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. No, so what I've learned with beard oil is you don't want fruit flavors. You really don't. Well, no, you can Because then one. you're stuck with them all day. Well, like, you, you smell like it all day Well, you day could get a long. nice smelling one, but it can't be overpowering. It's like anything you yeah. put in your hair on your face. Think a nice eucalyptus or a nice... Just Well, it could, it could have a scent to it, but I just don't think, like, uh, creamsicle was just too much. The scent was too much. It was too much, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's too much because then you smell it all day. Yeah. And you have to like the smell. And it should be just a hint, not not strong and overpowering, especially because it's so close to your face. I think a natural oil, like creamsicle, is like, like you know, it's like an ice cream. Okay. But... Tony gave, he says, beard oil will make you shiny. Beard palm well, keep gives it you down. shiny and control. Yeah. What if I just get some suavecito and just... That's really thick. No, that's not a good idea. No? Okay. So uh, Michael says beard palm helps with it when it's long. Like like Tony's. Like Tony's like Mr. Beard and, and same Jeff Pike's like Mr. Beard. Okay. Yes, eucalyptus uh, or tea tree. Okay. I'm going to be a fan of the tea tree smell. Um, No, it's a, it's a stronger smell, but it is good for dry scalp. And I don't think I've tried really. dad's homemade root beer. Beer. Or maybe, mm -mm. That's hard beer, right? I, maybe I have tried that. I've tried a hard beer. I don't know. Castor oil. Don't you put that in your car? DDG? Are you trying to tell me to put my car oil on my face? Is that what you just said? Is that what you just said to me? I'm just kidding. Oh, my goodness. Tea tree is great. Okay, yeah, I have maybe some. Maybe I have to try tea tree. Is it smell? But not maybe your tea tree is made for women, not for men. You are so... This is a manly beard. He's I need, so I need, dumb. I need like strong tea tree. Josh, for tea this tree manly, oil manly beard. It's a natural oil. It's it's and it's. I, a, I know. I'm just. It's a joke, babe. It was a joke. It was a. joke. <laughs> she thought it was serious. I'm just saying a joke, people. I have a bunch. Of, hi, Andrea. I have a bunch of oils. <laughs> hey, Andrea. I have eucalyptus, tea tree, lavender. Yeah. I see, jojoba. Hey, Tony says it. No lady stuff goes on this face. That's it. Real oil is not lady stuff, weirdo. It's just oil. Here, here, give me a kiss. No, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, I was going to say, that's the only lady stuff that can go on this face. Joe Ross's tea tree oil has a nice smell. Let me go get the tea tree oil. Yeah, put car oil. Don't, don't, don't rub tea tree oil on me right here. Then I'm going to be smelling like I'm a tea tree. And I don't want to be a tea tree. I drink tea. It comes from a tree. I think. I don't know. Dissed on camera. Yeah, I know. Carla, totally dissed on camera. Can you believe that? Just diss me. Like, what? The soft, sensitive skin? She don't want to give it a little kiss? I tell you. Uh, PPR, they have beer called Not Your Father's Root Beer. 
I think I've had that. I, I, I swear there was a hard rooper that I had. And I hate to say it, though. I don't think I was a huge fan. I thought it was okay, but I don't think I was a huge fan of it. Um, I'm just not 100% sure. I try to remember. And the only reason I say I think I was not a huge fan is because I never had it again. So that, that could be the case. Uh, hi, when does Disneyland opening? Well, Disneyland's probably not going to open for a long time. We don't know for sure. I'm saying October. Some people are saying June. Some people are saying July. I, I don't think in California you're going to see it open up before October. I think you'll see Disney World open up first. Ginger beer. I like ginger beer with uh, vodka and a Moscow Mule. Okay, that's cool. But is this for men or women? It's regular oil. Hey, 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 look at it, it's grabbing me. Your microphone's grabbing you. Just put a tiny bit on. Well, I'm not gonna do it right now. I don't want to do it do right it, now. Do it, do it. They're all horrible, gross. Okay, I just, I thought, I could have swore that I, I tried the hard root beer before and I, I wasn't a fan of it. Um, I just stick to the beers or something else, but um, I don't know. I don't know, babe. So, just don't put it on me right now. Who is putting it on? <sighs> yeah. I must have got used to it. It doesn't smell bad at all. If you put castor oil at night, it'll help grow. Really? Is that a fact or is that just a myth in Wyoming? Is that like one of those Wyoming things? Google it. I'm gonna have to. Is there gonna be have an oogie boogie bash? I don't think there's gonna be a a, a Halloween Hi, bash. To be honest, Nicholas, I just don't think there's gonna be a any type of Halloween stuff. Hey, good night. Uh, good night, Tony. Tony. You have a good night. So true. Michael says true. So I mean, maybe it's very possible that that could that could be the case. I guess. So I don't know. It's gonna be interesting, and then I'm curious too. When we go to the next stage here in California. <laughs> Jessica says, says the guy rubbing ginger on his face every day. I know. I, I, that's just a stimulate oh, hair growth. Oh, I can't growth. get past the smell. Well, then why don't you just take it out of the bottle? And if you want a free one, you have to give a good review. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I saw Captain Morgan um, had, had a few different types of spiced rums now, right? They have a few different flavors of, of spiced rum. I haven't tried them. I can only handle so much of the spiced rum. I'm a kind of a Bacardi rum guy. Bacardi and Coke, Bacardi and 7-Up is good. Um, I like that. I'm, I'm really big on the whiskey and 7-Up. It, it's delicious. It's delicious. It's delicious. I have heard that a girl that was doing my eyebrows said castor oil helps with hair growth. Okay. So can you pick me up some castor oil? Order it on Amazon, weirdo. Oh. I guess I've ordered everything else on Amazon. I can. Can you make a note for me to, to Thank do you, that? Thank you, PPR. And then uh, niggas is growing a quarantine beard. There's also. like a rubber band smell because they have well, this. I think um, you have to properly wash it. Did you properly wash it? I rinsed it. He rinsed it. She didn't properly With use soap, soap and but... stuff. Yeah. No. Okay. Jameson, all the way. I agree. I love Jameson. Now I was at. I was at Costco. Did we start talking about alcohol again? Yeah, we did somehow. Every every yeah, vlog. That's that's happens. our topic. Well, so. I was at Costco and oh, they have okay. a Kirkland brand Jameson. Like it's supposed to be like Jameson, but it's Kirkland brand. And I was gonna buy it and I yes. didn't. Oil on the beard. And I didn't, but I was like, oh, she says Thank Sarah you, says it's expensive on Amazon. Is there a place where it's cheap where Probably I can afford mothers it? Mothers or castor oil. Yes, mothers. Or Why do sprouts? mothers sell castor oil? It's a grocery store. It's like a natural. Oh. He knows nothing. He just Got goes it. to Krispy Kreme for donuts. Yes, that's pretty much what I do. So, um, I'm just wondering if the Kirkland brand Jameson is as good as the real Jameson. Cause the Walmart. Okay, thank you, Sarah. Thank you. We're going to Walmart then. Mango White Claw. Yeah. She can't have White Claws. She's not allowed to have I White Claws. I get claws. a little mean. She, she, uh, she, no, she, I do. I get she, a little she, grouchy. She, she, she. Yeah, she gets... Um, I don't know what it is. There's, there's certain alcohols. Thank you, Juanito. He says to boil the bottle uh, to get rid of that smell. But I don't know if it'll mess up the insulation on the inside. No, it shouldn't mess it. up the insulation. Nice. Yeah, I I like Jameson neat too. I love coconut oil. You use coconut oil and baking powder mix on your beard? Proper 12. Okay. Wait, wait. Nicholas says he uses coconut oil and 
Yeah. Not there White Claw. And baking powder. Okay. Well, I'm going to start with castor oil first, and then I'll work my way through some other stuff. But um, I haven't tried. Is Proper 12 expensive, or is it like near pricing of Maker's Mark or Jameson? Those type. Baka Gimlets. Or See, giblets. He, said, he said Crown Royal gets them really grouchy too. Giblets. Probably. So says uh, Josh when he's had a couple of drinks. So, Michael, press seltzers. We're a huge fan of press seltzers. Huge fan of press seltzers. Yes. Yes. Loving those. Uh, yeah, vodka giblets, baby. That's right, Juan. It's Juan. not giblets. You keep giblets. Saying... I said giblets. You said giblets. No, I said giblets. You were just in your head. Oh, the Bud Light ones don't come, but um, they taste really good. So the Bud Light seltzers tasted good. The problem is Becky's uh, gluten allergy. No, those are gluten free. Or no, but you have some sort of reaction to but you know what i know sometimes um even like with some coffees mm -hmm. like my body will still get bloated like my stomach it like thinks that it's like there's some i don't know there's so something. like the, the the bud the bud aritas yeah she can't drink the bud aritas it like well those are not gluten free no i i understand but you can drink a beer and not have the same effect that you have with the butterita. <laughs> when you have a butterita, it goes nuts. I thought I was going to explode nuts. because I'm allergic to... No, it gets hardcore. Like, yeah. hardcore I'm allergic you. to gluten, but the the Bud Light ones, the Bud ones don't have any gluten in it. Hey. I just, something must, I be must have sensitive to All something. I know is Rebecca all night has been Team Becky 100% of no, the way. No, you said giblets. 100% of the way. Oh my gosh. Okay, if anybody <laughs> rewinds it to uh, I, an sure. hour and 14 minutes and you hear Josh say giblets, leave a comment and say, Josh, you said giblets. Who has that, Michael? Who has a new seltzer called Social Club? I'm gonna, I want to try that. We, we have been experimenting with um, new types of flavored drinks, I guess you could the say. The lemonade one I got yesterday. Like she got some lemonade one. It wasn't the best. I it thought was it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a carbonated lemonade flavor. It's not even carbonated. No, it's lemonade. Yeah, it's, it's a just, flavored lemonade. It was zero sugar. I think it's really low free. calories. Yeah, zero calories. It was really good, sugar. but I think um, the no it's sugar really had to be really like sweet. a. Uh, what do you call it? A fake sugar, like stevia yeah. or something like that. Carla Gary, she heard giblet. Okay, I'm pretty sure I said giblet, but PBR says OMG. Uh, Budweiser Rita's are so good. I agree. I like them, but we don't buy them because they have a very weird effect well, on Becky. Well, you could drink them. I just can't drink them. Well, it's not my go-to though. That's not like my go-to. Yeah. Like that's so those those get a little too the sweet. The seltzers for me. actually had a very nice smell. Like when you pick it up and you go to drink it, the smell was very um, attractive. Like when you when you're gonna drink like this, I don't know if it's strawberry or cherry or whatever it was. When you pick it up to drink, you can smell it, and so it was really attractive. And then I hey, thought Disney they, King B. I thought they taste really good. Actually, I just blew up with them. Yeah, it, I don't know if you. And that's you, not for everybody. I'm allergic to everything, so nobody listen to me. So have you guys seen that? Like um, a lot of these things, like that pack that you bought, those lemonades. It was an eight pack, not a twelve pack. Yeah. So they're kind of like. And they're the same price as a 12-pack of, like, White Claws, or they're, like, $16.99. Um, I will go wearing a mask, and it won't take away any of the magic for me to be in a mask. No, because the magic... It's the atmosphere that... I'll tell you what. The magic is what you make of it. So if you go... And I'm not saying you are. You, you're you not going to go with a, um, you know, a negative attitude, I'm sure. But if you go in there thinking, oh, my God, i got to wear a mask, and oh, my God, look at this line... Or, oh, I can't stand here, and I can't do this, and I can't do this. Then you're not going to have a magical time. But if you go back understanding that there are uh, restrictions in place, and just know I'm going to have to wear a mask. I'm going to have to maybe not be able to walk the direction I want to walk because of social distancing. The magic will happen. The magic will be there. Disneyland is a magical place, and it will happen. It's a beautiful place. There are beautiful things all around you there. But if you go there with a bad at, not saying you, I'm not saying you are, but I'm saying there's people who are going to go there and be like, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Well, 
obviously the magic's not going to happen for them. To me, even without the meet and greets and without the fireworks, because we're we're on your pass holders, so we don't stay all night for the fireworks every day, anyways. I yeah. think it's still going to be amazing. I I've said this before. To me, once you walk in those gates and you see the the entrance to Disneyland and that music's playing, the atmosphere itself is magical. I will wear whatever or my diaper. <laughs> Becky's like, why, Michael? Don't bring up the diapers again. My no son, diaper. it must be a guy thing because my son was like, oh, you guys should wear diapers. Yeah. Like, I'm like, what is with men wanting to go back to their infant state and wear diapers? Like, that's crazy. Why not? Why? Please tell me that the lemonades um, were not Mike. No, they're not Mike's Hard Lemonades. They're, no, they're, they they're like a, they're an off brand or you something. Want me to go get one? Uh, you can, and you didn't bring one. I thought you brought one oh, in your no, little cooler. Oh, you decided against it. Yeah. See how I'm stuck in the corner? You know, I, I'm. You're, you're, oh, he's in the king's captain. I'm just right? gonna say you're lucky. I'm letting you out of the corner right now. Uh, I'm just kidding. We just play with you guys. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure the brand of it, but we we are venturing into trying different um, liquors that are out there that are not hard liquors per se, more like canned or bottled. Uh, just to just a Try new things. Um, I do have to say this, though. This stay-at-home order, I have never drank so much in my life, just to be honest with you. Oh, my God. There's, like, nothing to do, and you're like, I don't got to worry about tomorrow, so let's have some beers. You know, it's like, uh, I don't think I've gone to the grocery store and not picked up any some sort of alcohol at some point. Really, I, I just, I, it's crazy. Becky said, or no, my daughter. Was it my daughter or Becky? Someone said, yeah, you left work and you went to stay at home quarantine and then you're going to go back to work an alcoholic. <laughs> it's not even like we're drinking a lot, but it's like, it seems like it's a lot. It really does. It just seems like it's a lot. I don't know if anybody else is feeling that way, but I definitely know I am. I have been drinking more in the stay at home order than uh, ever have before. That's for sure. So... Yeah, it's just kind of crazy, but I do like trying the, the new drinks. And I like trying the different stuff, and and it's it's a bummer when it's not a hit, but for the most part, most of it has been decent, and most of it has been pretty good. But uh, the, thank you, Carla. Thank you, Carla, because I, I didn't want to feel I didn't want to feel like it was just me. It's, we started drinking. It's more only four percent alcohol. Yeah, I know. I saw that it was four percent. So alcohol. zero sugar. It says zero sugar, zero flavor, or infinity flavor. Um, it's organic. And um, and they came with different flavors. So you have like classic lemonade. They had like a blueberry, blueberry lemonade. They had a raspberry. watermelon lemonade. No, no, it was raspberry. No, they had a watermelon. Okay. I, I had it the other night. It was raspberry, lemon, it's called blueberry. A crooked Marker. I just expect Michael to know all these brands and all these names because he's in the business. So Between homeschooling work and staying home, it's fun to try new things. Yeah. We're yeah. homeschooling my granddaughter as well. Yeah, 4%. I told Josh... There's no alcohol in this at all. Yeah, so, and every day is different. Like I said, like, you know, we're getting closer back to going to uh, going back to work sooner. So, like, tomorrow I have three different conference calls I have to be You're on. You're getting closer to going back to work. Yeah, me, not, not me. you. So I'm going to try to go work at the Disney Hotel. Yeah, you would think, here's what I'm saying. If you're only going to give me eight cans of this and you're going to charge me $16.99, you need to give me more than 4%. This should be at least 7 or 8%. I mean, for that pricing? Come on. That's ridiculous. No, that's ridiculous. Eight okay, cans? Okay, Karen. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, and I'm pulling a Karen right now. I think it's a legitimate... No, it is because you get a 12-pack of ciders or something else for like well, six. I can get a 12-pack of, you know, um, what's the one that we get? Uh, we don't get White Claw. We get that other, the good one. Bon Vive. Bon and Vive. We get that one and... Bon Vive. Yeah, and it's, you know, sixteen ninety nine, fifteen ninety nine, sometimes $14.99. But it's a twelve pack. It's not a so seltzer. So it might have four uh, percent. PPR. It's not a seltzer. It's a hard lemonade. It's a it's a lemonade. It's a beer actually. It's a flavored beer. That's a, it but there's no that. there's no yeah and there's no. It says contains alcohol flavored beer. It doesn't. It's it's not a beer. There's no. It doesn't fuzz. feel like a beer. There's no fuzz. I'll be honest with you. This is a hard lemonade. Thank I don't know you, why Michael, for agreeing with me for once. They're going lower percent. No, it's no only it's only four percent alcohol. And there's only eight cans of these little lemonades wait, 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 wait. for $16.99. Wait, why are they going lower? Who who doesn't want to get drunk? What are they talking about? What's the point? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Just to have a good drink. Is a juice with liquor. Karen. Quick and maker marker. Is Juan's a juice back. His work is all done. Well, good, good, good. That's water, right? That's it's water. not, it's not yeah. even fire water. <laughs> Just as uh, fire at eight percent or go home, right? That's what I'm talking about. Eight percent, eight percent, baby. Yeah, that's that's the thing, Michael. It's about the calories because if you, I love Jameson. Mm. Okay, Boracho, let's move on. Oh, flavored beer. Okay, thanks, Becky. It, well, you know what? There's no fizz in it, so it doesn't taste like. Beer. It's actually like if you were drinking a lemonade with stevia or a lemonade with the equal in it. Yeah. To me, that's what it tastes like. Oh, now I can use it. Your head's way up there. I okay. said olive. Where the little red dot and it says life. When I saw it, I said, Olive, what are we doing with olives? And then he's like, what do you mean olives? And I go, the, oh, the olive. And he says, no, it's a red dot and it says life. Yeah. I didn't get it. Didn't get it. Okay, so what's going on? Partner is banking of Red's Wicked Cider for me. Okay. So we went, jumped on that. Alcohol bandwagon we get on, huh? Well, it doesn't look like... No, no, I'm I'll be saying, honest with you. It doesn't look like we're alone from the chat. I'm not saying anything <laughs> bad about it. I'm just saying we jumped on it. Yeah, but it's... You know what? But that has been, for the last month, we have tried... Is that your only pleasure in life is having a couple of drinks? Having a couple of drinks, doing a little barbecuing. I really love my head, actually. And then... Um, <laughs> I, I really, you I really do love it. my head. Um... <laughs> That trying new things has been really fun. Yes, it because has been. we haven't been able to. We're used to going to the parks or going to a going somewhere and trying new foods and new drinks there. So since we're not able to try new stuff everywhere else, we kind of moved it to let's go to the grocery store and try new things in the alcohol beverage containers. I've done some new things. What have you done that's new? Updated our bedding. I got a new, okay. a new backdrop for our bed. Juan, did you get the feedback? Melissa read all of also. You don't even care what I'll say. Yeah, but I, I've enjoyed learning about some. Hi, Andrew. Hey, hey. Fonzie. Hi. Um, I've learned some plumbing things. I, I we just went to Home Depot today, and I had to get a few extra plumbing tools to change a tub uh, drain, which I haven't done yet because I didn't have all the proper tools to do it and uh jessica's been trying new recipes asian recipes delicious she made yeah, su the mas delicious. masubi what do you call it masubi is that how you say it masubi masubi it was delicious hey andrew long time no see how's it going and i love it uh cheers you two great tuesday night libations with y'all thank you so much it's like our only adult entertainment right now not that we yeah. did anything else other than go to disneyland no, but you know that was where we would try new things. We would yeah. try new foods. We would and we'd try new drink drinks. At Disneyland because yeah. they always have different and new stuff. So we we try different stuff. So, um, okay, what about Fonzie's my spirit animal? Love that dude. I love Fonzie and his motorcycle and his leather jacket. I loved Bowser from Sha Na Na. He was one of my favorite guys. Yeah. And that was fun. Oh, okay. So let me, while you guys are here, let me give you a quick rundown of what's going on. So this Thursday night, we're going to have Convo and Cocktails on our channel, Midlife Vibes. I'm going to have Kittle TV on at 6 p.m. And then Saturday night, we're going to be on the Adventures of Gonzo on his YouTube channel. And we're going to be talking movies from the 70s, 80s, 90s, even up to 2000s. So last week, I think, last week we were talking TV shows. I think they were being nice to me and threw the '70s in for me because I kept throwing out '70s TV shows. Well, I had a whole bunch of '70s TV shows, but then that wasn't the topic, so I didn't. We didn't do it. But um, this Saturday, we had just such a blast going over all the TV shows. We just it had brought fun. back it brought back so many memories and stuff, and watching everybody's face when someone would say Knight Rider, and everyone, went, oh man, Hi, Armando. So. Um, Last week was TV shows. This week it's going to be um, movies. Maybe a mod can throw up the link to Gonzo's channel, and then you guys can check it out for this Saturday night, 8 p.m. Pacific time. I know it's late for you guys who are not in our time zone. Imagine he's on the East Coast, so he's starting at 11 p.m. at night. He's 
crazy. We had but, a good we have a good time on that yeah. channel. They're just fun. Kelly from the Mickey Bunch is on there. Yeah. And then my pal Al. Yeah. It was just it's just fun. And then usually they'll have um, a couple other guests on there too. Mm -hmm. So we just had a really uh, good time there. But I just wanted to shout that out there in case you guys want to check out because the last few times that we've been on, we've gone a couple hours and it's uh it was really fun. If you're looking for Ooh, you something sleeping? to do on a Saturday night. No, I just been yawning through the whole thing. Look, I feel like I have green hair. Like I feel like I'm a Muppet. Oh look at you're like me. I'm a Muppet. From the horror show. What is it? I don't know. The horror show with Lady Gaga, the witches, the... Oh, I know what you're talking about. That I didn't about. like watching. American Horror Story? Yeah, you're yeah. like Meep. Well, maybe we'll change the, the plants. No, it's fine. I'm usually, you can have I'm this usually, one. I'm usually you can have this one. Sometimes I Like slouch. a man bun. Like a man bun. Uh, thank you, Juan, very much for throwing that up there. Yeah, Avengers with Mr. Gonzo will be over there on Saturday night. So it should be super fun. We I, we love going on other channels and hanging out and just talking and stuff. And there it's a very free Bye, vibe. Bye, Rebecca. You thank know? you for being on my side all night. I really appreciate you. Rebecca, team Becky. thank you for joining us, <laughs> even though you are totally <laughs> Team Becky. Every once in a while, you throw me a bone, you know. But no, I'm just kidding. No, thanks for joining us, Rebecca. We had so much fun. It's always nice, Rebecca. Yeah. Yawn number one in the books. Yeah, that was for Becky. Yawn number one. No, Yawn, I've been started. yawning since the very first yawn comment you meant when he was talking tech talk. So, who knows, who knows? Time out with Michael and Tony. Remember to like our channel and see what Josh and Becky sent us. Oh, that is right. Wednesday night, time out with Michael and Tony. We did send uh, them a little package, a little challenge package, which... Uh, Sorry, can't tell you what it is, but uh, you might not like it. Yes. But who knows, Becky, Lisa's sending you a pic, okay? Hey, <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, I get to show this, right? That's awesome. I love Jeff and Lisa, they're so Look awesome. Look at that, what are all those You're crepes? just jealous. I You're am super jealous. jealous. Ask if you can show it. Josh can, wants to show it. Can we it. show the picture? That's super awesome. Can I want to show Gonna them kill anything? zombies. Well, what's in the box? Oh, he has Fonzie! Fonzie! It's a Fonzie lunch pail. Yeah, that's so cool. Sorry, I just yelled in the mic. I love it. Oh, yes. Here we go. Mr. Jeff Pike in the house. Sorry, let me... I just don't like these. It tastes like they have an look artificial... That, look at that lunchbox. Look at that lunchbox. I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> What are those crates, Jeff? What are all those those big crates? It, I don't like it. It tastes like artificial sugar. And then this has E-R-Y-T-H-R-I-T-O-A-L. E that doesn't sound like you should drink it. But it, it tastes like oh, it has okay. artificial sugar. It's at the Captain Marvel meet and greet just under the jet. Oh, really? okay. I was like, dang, what kind of top secret work does he do? We've never been oh, to Oh, it's other... Yeah. Okay. And he took his Fonzie lunch pail. It tastes like it's artificial sweetener. I'm going to mix it with a Corona and see Are what you happens. thirsty? Lemonade, Corona, lemon, Corona. I'm going to see what that ingredient is. It doesn't sound like we should drink it. It's an artificial sugar, I think. It sounds like we shouldn't be drinking it, but they're selling it. Oh no! You'd be surprised. Do you see an Easter egg? It's it's there. The the Fonzie lunchbox is there. You would think, really? Yeah. See. You'd be surprised at things that we eat and drink that we shouldn't be eating. Zero carb sweetener. Well, I I eat and drink a lot of stuff I probably shouldn't be eating, like twelve Krispy Kreme donuts in one sitting. I shouldn't be doing it, Let's but see. I did. Pure organic, a sweet sugar alternative. It's pure organic. It's organic. Wait, if it's organic. No, I don't it know. has to be good. Right? I mean, it'd have to be. Wait. I think I fixed my dilemma with oh, my stevia. Pe oh, good. That's, That's why I said stevia. it tastes like stevia. Because okay. it's stevia. It's stevia. I'm glad, Michael, you were able to fix that. I was going to ask you, uh, would you able to resolve that? Because it was like no idea what was going on there. So, But he resolved it. So that's good. All right. Well, I'm not, I don't have anything else to really discuss or talk about. What do you want to talk about? 
I'm throwing it to you. You said that. What I kind of vlogs are we doing coming up? You haven't discussed that with me. Let's discuss it here. Well, we have the Knott's Berry Farm vlog coming up. Jessica shot a vlog. That's going to be come up. That will be a little bit later because it's going to take me a little bit of time to edit it because I have no idea what she shot. So when you're shooting the video and then editing it, it's much easier than versus when somebody else shoots it and then it gives you all the footage. It takes a little bit longer because you kind of have to review and cut and go through and do all these things. So um, I... I I'm sure it's good. We just have to get. I just have to get through all that video and see how I'm going to put it together. Should be interesting for and sure. And I'm not sure if. Hi, I'm, Disney Ann. Hi, Disney Ann. I'm not sure if I'm going to film any of the. I'm redoing the bedroom. I'm going to repaint the dressers and repaint our bathroom. I'm redecorating that. Um, I'm going to be painting a table in the kitchen. Um, I have some projects that I'm going to be working on, but I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog any of that or if I'll condense it into one vlog or I'm not sure i don't know what is with the salmon what's salmon what are you talking about i want salmon huh i want salmon well that's all costco had this this last week when i we wanted went. to get it i want a big they i had want a ton i of, want a ton of it too. i want smoked salmon. salmon i want smoked salmon to put cream cheese and then smoked salmon on a cracker or a bagel that's so good josh i really like the corner pick yes i like the corner pick too just talking about that one right there. We're gonna, but if you right if you bring it down more once it dries, you can't have your midlife vibe sing on it. What? Oh no! Yeah, I I don't think I the don't picture's think... even gonna stay there forever. I think we're gonna move the picture somewhere. Why? Well, maybe it'll stay there. Well, because your head will be in. Oh, true. In it. Anyway, we'll figure it out. And more I just, cooking I'm just, videos. Thank you, Ronnie. I'm just more worried about you bumping into the picture a lot and stuff. Because you have me pushed in the because corner. Because we have such a little space. It's okay. I know. I pushed you in the corner then. Babies in um, the yeah, so those are the couple videos that we have coming up, and then we'll see. I mean, it's just, it's tough with being on, uh, with nothing being open, like really. With homeschool? No, I don't think that's tough. Uh, it's yeah. just, I think it's because we're homeschooling and, we're the homeschooling work. and you have work, and then I'm trying to make masks. That, it's really um, slowed down my mask production, I'll say. Not, in, not prohibited me from doing it, but it's kind of slowed it down. But I wouldn't replace it because she's doing so well being homeschooled. Oh, yeah. She even yeah. asked her mom, can Mama just homeschool me? Like, like she really did. But eventually she'll miss her friends and stuff at yeah, school. Yeah, she will. she loves her friends so much. She loves her friends. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. Well, I think that's going to be it. I think um, I think that's it for the live stream tonight, you guys. Uh, we just had such a fun time with everybody. I want to thank everybody for joining us. I appreciate it. This one's a little sleepy, as you can tell. Now I'm awake, but you know me, I can fall asleep on a dime, so I can just I'm up like all that. night. Boop, done. I'm gone. I'm up all so, night. Yeah, so just thank you everybody for joining us. We uh, should do one live stream. I'm sorry, I know you're trying to go. On um, what's yeah. everybody watching while they've been quarantined? Like yeah. what shows? Yeah. Because we've been hooked on too. I'm kind of curious to know what everybody else is. Can we do one where we talk about what people are watching and yeah yeah of course of course okay for sure i mean we just write it down for our plans and we'll, we'll make it yeah, happen we'll... for sure but thank you very much you guys i appreciate it see see i don't want to start doing that i don't want to start doing that so make sure you guys check us out this thursday night on convo and cocktails with kid alt tv a lot of tech what talk time? a lot of tech talk so if what you don't time? like tech talk just join us anyway. I don't care. Yeah, they're going to be talking about gizmos and gadgets. <laughs> Cameras and soundboards and microphones and all sorts of fun stuff. Headphones and so, cameras. Yeah. And, and, and you batteries. Know, that's what the t that's going to start off with. And then, you know, we, we obviously will, wherever the conversation takes us. It's convo and cocktail. So wherever the convo takes us, that's where we go. But we, we definitely have been excited to talk about techie stuff. Lighting. Sure. Yeah, really. We've been really and, excited. And I, I don't want... And? And? We're redoing our backdrop. I have a couple of things on there. I want to add to it, but I don't know what to add to it. But I don't want a lot of bright colors. Because I'm trying to go for in our studio here, our bedroom, our bathroom, a really subtle, earthy, California desert natural vibe so i do need some help because i'm at a loss 
yeah. what to do with this. I got a couple of things. Like, I love the rock. Move your noggin. I love this rock that we got in Colorado. Um, it's just one of the red Rocky Mountain rocks. And I love my sage thing that I have here. But I'm kind of at a loss for this space. So I would love some input in the comments below. I appreciate it. Michael says, I am leaving now. He has spoken. Yeah. Now that we're done, he is leaving. So that's it, you guys. Thank you. If you haven't hit the thumbs up button, hit the thumbs up button on the way out. We do appreciate it. And obviously, if you haven't subscribed already, just subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Um, some of you guys probably don't even have the notification bell hit. So go ahead and hit the notification bell for all. That way you guys get notified when we do these different live streams and stuff and when the videos hit. But with that, we appreciate every single one of you guys. We thank you. Who sits and what sits galore? We thank all of you guys. Special thanks to our Patreons out there. Thank you, Rosa, for becoming a Patreon member. We do appreciate that so much. And DDG out there being a Patreon and Marianne. And I, I just uh, thank you so much for, for all the Patreons out there. We do appreciate it so much. And with that, we'll catch you next time, guys. Bye, guys. See you later. 